Hey peeps out there, myself Arav and welcome back to the my channel. So this is the very smooth and perfect room for Redmi Note 10 and it's based on Android 13. So let's get started with the review. One second, I forgot its name. I'm just joking actually. It's Evolution X. So yeah, it is based on Android 13 with the linear Evolution X version. 7.3 with the vengeance mojito unofficial build since it's unofficial build it doesn't mean that it does not have some good, good and smart features that you all needs to use and first of all i would like to share you the android security update which is based on november 5th the kernel version is strict inline kernel you can see this which is a perfect kernel for your device and i am using this kernel from two to three days with on other roms and i'm faced no issues and if you want more smoothness on this rom you can do check out west coast super fast kernel it is based on the 10th november build and build name is fikri and dot dot thanks fikri and maintaining this rom and the serenic status status is enforcing which is much more important for any other rooms to be uh, safer and to use after that this is the whole ui of this rom you can see this the opening including animation of any application and it's just a buttery smooth. We know that it's not having any 90 hertz or 60 or 120 hertz support. It does only supports 60 hertz, but the smoothness of this room is buttery smooth. After that, I would like to share you to get the evolver. And in this, you are getting much more customizations in like the themes. You are getting the themes option with the dark theme, headline body font. You get a much more body font icons above here. And the single icon style also been there. And guys, if you like my videos, please like the button on the YouTube channel page and subscribe to the my channel if you found my content really, really helpful because it really motivates me to create an awesome content for you. So let's see what we are getting on this room. For the dark theme, you are getting much more option for the dark theme. If I just enable the dark theme, you can see the dark theme, it gets enabled and there is option of dark theme and you can select the dark theme which type of themes do you really want to use after that you are getting much more options like you can customize status bar i have checked every options every options is perfectly working i'm not going deeper inside these settings because it becomes a spoilers to you all so yeah these all settings working notification reticker option is also been working kill app button it's also working i am not enabled but yeah i have flashed this room two times and the uh, installation video of this room might be come separately so you have to subscribe for that also after that quick settings is also given clock option is given clock font size which type you want date battery style you can arrange from here is also given and you can select battery ios style i have selected just that you can also select that big circle it will get changed automatically in the qs you can see this this gets changed in the qs so it is working all around the things smart qs and secure qs require unlocking while you are in the lock screen you can use this but if you disable that you can't use that brightness slider you can customize at your own there is much more settings and customizations given in this android 13 room i loved it i'm very very helpful uh, thankful of those persons who maintained and developed these rooms for this device i really really appreciate the big thumbs up to them also gestures option system gestures were given Many more settings were added. Swipe to screenshot, like a new option is quick mute, long press, volume down. You can see this key will mute active volume streams. You can use these settings. This were working and this is a new settings. Double tap is also working. Like if I just lock it in my device and you can easily unlock from here. It is working that. So you can also use that. These were all the settings were working fine. Tap on lock screen does works. In the option of lock screen, I already told you edge light is there. Whenever you get a notification, you can check out that also. Edge light, after the edge light, you get the options of much more ripple effect and fingerprint notification with animations. Then, then animation options is also given. Screen of animations is like CRT. And I like this options because it totally creates a much better UI experience and good looks 
better than new UI also. So in the miscellaneous settings, you're getting much more options. Like you get the pixel storage unlimited, higher FPS in games. I haven't tested any game because I'm not uh, so much relatable to the games because I didn't play a game since my childhood. So I haven't played any games also. After that, you can search for the apps you are getting here. The default apps here, you get the pixel launcher, which is not having any customizations. And apart from that, you're getting game space. You can check out that also. Here you get the battery option. I would like to share my battery usage. I have used it regularly without uh, issues. So you can see the battery issues usage of this ROM also. Yeah, you are getting much more options like current capacity of the battery and charge cycles completed. KP profiles is given, which means kernel profiles. Use auto kernel profiles is given. Kernel profile mode you can select out also according to you. After that, many more options is given. One feature that I would like to share you is the smart charging. And it is best for the uh, people who is having uh, heating issues, then they can use that options is also. The charging speeds of this room is working fine. The 33 watt charging is delivering a maximum of its output to this device for the charging. In the sound and vibration, you are getting a Mi sound enhancer, which is perfectly vacuuming. You are getting a good quality of sound experience in this room. So you can use to that, you can do check out this also. I have already done from that. Per app volume control is also been there. I am just checking out in currently out for your there's clear speaker options is also given, but I have just muted my this one. That's why you aren't getting any voice of that. Display option, you get much more customizations and settings option. You can do check out that in the later of in with yourself also because I'm not going to that also. What paper styles is given, you're getting Android 13 theme palettes, unlimited. You can do check out at your own. App grid is also working. There is only five by five up till app grid is given. Security, you are getting face and fingerprint unlock also, which is working fine. No issue that I have also faced. Safety and emergency options are also given. In the system, the language input, app language is updated from earlier because earlier and in Android 13, you are getting four, one, two, three app uh, language supported, but now you're getting much more than that. Thermal profiles is also there. I have run with the thermal profiles and you are surprised to see what's the performance that it is giving to me. So uh, be until that for also in the later part of the video. Gestures also, I have shared the gestures option. And yeah, this is all for the settings. You are seeing that I'm using the nothing font which looks awesome on my Redmi Note 10 because it feels so minimalistic and gives me so pleasure to use that. After that, I already shared you the opening and closing speed of any application and there is no jitter lags. You can see this, there is no jitter lags, any bugs, sort of bugs. In the QS, there is also no lags and anything you can encounter is in this room. Highly, I will highly recommend you this room. After that, I would like to share you some of the benchmarks that I have took and yeah, it stand out all the performance. So here are the, the some benchmarks. I have set to the number of threads 20 and for the 50 minutes of test in CPU throttling test, this is without any thermal profiles test with the uh, 15 minute test and the CPU throttled up to 75, 7% its max performance. You can see this and it creates a good kind of performance. But when I apply the kernel profiles and I just run for 15 minutes with the benchmark set results, you get a max 145, 920 GIPS and no CPU throttling detected because after many times of using Android 13 nodes, I encountered that one only it's a ROM that is not having 89 or 79% max performance. So yeah, it did stand all of the its competitor in this ROM segment. I would highly recommend this ROM for everyone out there. First of all, she, this is the Slingshot Extreme Test, which is based on OpenGLES 3.1. And you can see the scores that I'm getting over here. And these were outstanding scores. After that, this is a wildlife stress test. And in this test, my device gets little warmer side because it's heavy test. So you can know that this is the result of that also, 477N. Stability of this ROM uh, to its performance is 98.1%. And you are getting the L1 certification also in the device. So you are good to go with the HD Prime Video and Netflix content in the full HD videos. Device is being certified. So you aren't getting uh, issues. 
and guys one more thing i want to note you that this is the only rom that is i have seen in the android 13 segment for the redmi note 10 which is having the latest icon pack of the google phone and messaging apps so these were the performance that you are expecting from this room and yeah it did perform that what you want and all the things do like a charm the opening closing i already mentioned you the scrolling of the twitter app do works fine and i'm using it like my personal usage of this device so guys this is for the my review if you really like this video give a thumbs up to my video and subscribe to my channel for sake of my motivation and your daily based content.